Hey everyone. All right. Some clarity is definitely in order here. We're starting to see some really, really contradictory reporting coming out of the media in Canada these days. And it's time we get to the bottom of this to figure out who is being honest and truly being representative of the reality on the ground. Let's start with this True North article. Majority of Canadians currently hospitalized are fully vaccinated, government data shows. Report by Cosman de Serza, January 18, 2022. Those fully vaccinated against COVID-19 make up the lion's share of people currently hospitalized with the virus in most provinces across Canada. True North has compiled a list of current hospitalization rates broken down by vaccination status using the latest data reported by various provincial and territorial health authorities. It is to be noted that report on hospitalization varies by region and that some provinces have not provided statistics on hospitalization by vaccination status. ICU admissions were also included, although reporting varied widely by region. In Canada, 77.10% of the population has been fully vaccinated against COVID-19 as of Tuesday. It is also to be noted that due to being a smaller share of the population, unvaccinated Canadians will make up a smaller statistical portion of hospitalization numbers. For information regarding the efficacy of COVID-19 vaccines, please visit the Government of Canada's official vaccination resource hub. The following data is current as of January 18th, 2022. So anyways, folks, as you can see, and thanks to True North, for compiling all those numbers. Great job in doing that. But anyways, I just wanted to move over now to two new articles coming out today, basically at the same time, or actually was it last night? I I'm seeing them today, but two articles that re were released basically in and around the same time covering the exact same story. One from CTV, the other from Reuters. Here's how it was reported by CTV. During Delta wave, vaccination and prior infection protected against COVID-19, but vaccination was safest, study finds. It's reported by Deidre McPhillips, CNN Digital Contact, published Wednesday, January 19th, 2022. Anyways, folks, so as you're seeing here, the headline for this CTV article is trying to suggest, with this somewhat confusing headline, that vaccination was safest, whatever that means. Anyways, now let's look at how Reuters reported on this exact same story. Headline, prior COVID infection more protective than vaccination during Delta surge, U.S. study. This is reported by Julie Steenhuisen and Manas Mishra, January 19th, 2022. January 19th, Reuters. People who had previously been infected with COVID-19 were better protected against the Delta variant than those who were vaccinated alone, suggesting that natural immunity was a more potent shield than vaccines against that variant. California and New York health officials reported on Wednesday. So anyways, folks, this entire article is actually behind a paywall, so I can't read it in its entirety. But once again, telling a completely different tale than what's being suggested over here at CTV, at least in terms of the headline. Anyway, folks, I don't want to keep these videos too long. Like I say, I'm going to link all the sources in the description of this video below so you can confirm for yourself. I mean, it's strikingly obvious based on the headline alone that some of those in the establishment media are still hell-bent on politicizing COVID-19. Skinny Libertarian, and I love liberty.